Good morning. My name is Jonathan Jones and I have the privilege and the honor of serving as a South Carolina State Fire Marshal. And I want to take this opportunity to welcome you all to the State Fire Campus and to this momentous occasion. The strength of Team South Carolina really lies in three words. You hear the governor say them often. Communication, cooperation, and collaboration. And these keys to success have led to a dynamic Team South Carolina that's focused on serving those who live, work, and play in our great state. Governor McMaster challenges our state agencies with these keys to, success, to a successful team. Communication, collaboration, cooperation. And truthfully, these have been the keys to success in the passage of Senate Bill 1071, the Firefighter Cancer Health Care Benefit Plan. The South Carolina Fire Service had to articulate and communicate the need for a firefighter ca uh, cancer health care benefit plan to our legislators. The facts surrounding firefighter cancer are alarming. The chemicals that we're exposed to in the line of duty from the products of combustion enter our bodies not only through inhalation, but also through skin absorption. These exposures to contaminants make firefighters many times more likely to develop certain forms of cancer than the general population. Our legislators had to be able to communicate the need for such legislation to their peers, which will take care of those who put their lives on the line for our citizens every day. The passage of this bill took collaboration and cooperation on many levels. The South Carolina Fire Service Cancer Coalition, I think, is a shining example of South Carolina Fire Service associations working together and involving other organizations with a vested interest in taking care of these public servants. The coalition communicated, collaborated, and cooperated with our legislators and the governor's office to realize this goal. The bipartisan support of this bill among our state's legislators is another example of collaboration and cooperation. I want to thank the members of the coalition, the legislators who sponsored and supported Senate Bill 1071, and Governor McMaster today for signing this bill into law. I also welcome the opportunity that this legislation provides for our team at State Fire to identify and promote through education of the South Carolina Fire Service best practices to establish employer cancer prevention strategies as it relates to personal protective equipment, decontamination, fire suppression apparatus, and fire stations. In fact, the building behind us, I think, stands as an example of some of these best practices. When our 25-year-old fire station here at the South Carolina Fire Academy, the state's fire station, if you will, was renovated, we engineered firefighter cancer prevention into its features, including a decontamination quarter from the apparatus bay to the living quarters and pressure zones that keep the airborne contaminants out of the living area. Again, a big thank you to everyone who communicated, collaborated, and cooperated to make this day possible. And it's now my great honor to introduce the governor of the great state of South Carolina, Governor Henry McMaster. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Chief. I'm delighted to be here on another beautiful South Carolina day. And I have to tell you all that being governor and representing this state and our five million plus happy proud South Carolina is the greatest honor I can imagine and I know those who have been selected for public office and those who have been s selected to serve feel the same way because I know if you didn't you wouldn't be here a lot of times and we see around the rest of the country people seem to have their priorities mixed up but not here in South Carolina we know that we have to educate the children we know that we have to get obstacles out of the way so our people can flourish in their careers and their jobs. And we know it's vitally important that we keep people safe. If we can't keep people safe in our country, then we will not prosper. We have an Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines, and others to see that the enemies abroad do not take us down, do not inhibit our happiness, our growth, and our prosperity. But those inside our borders are the ones that do exactly the same thing against even more enemies. Not only against those with guns and other violence, but also flames, accidents, tragedies of all kinds, hurricanes, storms, tornadoes. It's our first responders, it's our law enforcement that are the backbone of the strength of South Carolina. Without you, without them doing what they do unselfishly every day, we cannot prosper. 
That is why it is so important that we honor those who make this possible for the rest of us, that we honor them to see that they're well paid, they're well trained, and that they're cared for physically. And that is one reason this cancer bill is so important. A lot of places the rest of the country, people are mixed up. We know that our firefighters, unlike most average citizens, I get up in the morning and put on a shirt and a tie, usually not today because I got this shirt on. I'm proud to have it on. Put on a shirt and a tie. But our law enforcement, our first responders, they put on badges, they put on bulletproof vests, and they're ready to run towards the danger run towards the fire. Well, in South Carolina, we are running towards our first responders, not running away from them, not denying them, not turning them down, and not disrespecting them, because we know that without the strength that we have in our uniform personnel, our first responders, and in law enforcement, South Carolina cannot and will not prosper. So this is one more indication of the respect and understanding that our people of South Carolina have expressed through their elected representatives, understanding the importance and the critical, vital role that you play. And whatever we can do, I promise you this, whatever we can do to see that you can do your job better, safely, happily, supporting your families and supporting this state, we will do. The chief sponsor of this bill is Senator Thomas Alexander, who has done a miraculous job in many ways for our state. His leadership is vital to many of the, much of the progress we have made, and he is here today. Senator Alexander. Thank you, Governor, and Governor, we appreciate your leadership. We would not be here celebrating this bill today without your leadership, and it's an honor today to be here and to be a part of this ceremony. On behalf of the people of not only Senate District Number 1, but on behalf of the people of the, South, of the state of South Carolina, uh, this was as spoken earlier, great bipartisan support. Uh, we have with us today uh, Senator Fanning, Representative Funderburk, there may be other members of the General Assembly. Uh, I want to especially uh, say thanks to my Senate colleagues. We got great support, especially Chairman Cromer of the Banking and Insurance Committee uh, that gave um, great attention to this, and then uh, certainly the colleagues in the House of Representatives, and it went through the Labor, Commerce, and Industry Committee, and Chairman Sandifer, and the work that they did for us to get this bill across the finish line this year. There were not a lot of bills that got across the finish line this year because of the COVID-19. Now, the fact that it got across the finish line this year, I think, is a testimony to the fire service. But it has been a lot of work to get us to that point. It didn't just start this year and finish this year. There's been years of work. And certainly, uh, the team that you have and uh, Cindy Condurus and Chief Stewart and others have been at the uh, forefront of, of making sure that we're educated on the importance of this legislation to get us to where we where we are. I started today uh, being Presbyterian. I don't believe uh, I'm, I believe in predestination. I started reading my Sunday school lesson this morning before I left Walhalla early this morning, and and it's actually on the Good Samaritan. And I said, what better lesson is that than for me to have the opportunity today to be with y'all? Because the question there was, who is your neighbor? And you in the fire service demonstrate who your neighbor is every day of the week, 365 days a year. Your neighbors are the ones that you go in a time of need. That is critical. That you're willing, as the governor said, to go into harm's way, not checking ahead of time of what type of material, what, what's impactful from that standpoint. I remember back to the early 60s when the rural fire service was beginning there in Oconee County. Neighbor helping neighbor, responding to the call. Our paid and our volunteer firefighters are trained to the same level from that standpoint. I'm reminded of just a few years ago that the church that I'm a member of, Wahala Presbyterian Church, I got a call on a Saturday morning about 10 in the morning that said our church was on fire. You know, that's kind of like a second family to you. And to go down and to see the church engulfed in flames 
But what I saw was firefighters from across Oconee County, other communities coming to be a part of the response that saved that structure, that saved those historic walls that were virtually 100 years old. I think to just earlier this year when we had tornadoes went through Oconee County, and it was you and the fire service, not from just Oconee County, but from throughout the region and throughout the state from the coast as well that were there taking care of our citizens. I've been to numerous events that's been put on by the fire service that's with y'all and your loved ones. And I've seen y'all having to leave your loved ones to go and respond to a call. You've missed birthdays. You've missed recreation football. You've missed so many things that are important in the lives of the families that you have. So today as we celebrate this cancer legislation, this policy, this that will provide some financial assistance to you upon for out of pocket for the initial diagnosis and Certainly we pray that no one is lost to cancer, but we know the reality that it happens and the death benefit. So I think as much as we're doing this for you, we're also doing it for your families and your loved ones because of the sacrifices that they make for you. It's a token of our appreciation as a state of South Carolina, and that is another reason that we had such bipartisan broad support for this legislation. I've been proud to stand with you in the past. I'm proud to stand with you today and I look forward to standing with you in the future to make sure that you have the equipment and the resources that you need to take care of all of our neighbors every day, regardless of whether it's a beautiful day like today or in some of the worst weather that is there. So I don't know if it's right that we don't really celebrate this today but it is a recognition, and I guess maybe we do celebrate because it's a need that you have. It's been a long time in coming. Thank you for standing with us to get us to where we are. It has been a coordinated effort, uh, and I'm grateful to you for your service and for your families that stick with you. And now it's my pleasure to call upon Tracy Williams that has certainly been at the forefront of this through your Cancer Coalition, the great, great job that he and his team have done to provide us the opportunity to educate members of the General Assembly across the state of South Carolina. So Tracy, if you would come forward. And thank you for what you've done. Good morning, all. What a great day in South Carolina for the South Carolina Fire Service. My name is Tracy Williams. I'm serving as your chairperson of the Health and Safety Committee for the South Carolina Firefighters Association. I serve as the Assistant Fire Chief with the Westview Fair Forest Fire Department in Spartanburg County, and most importantly, I'm an 11-year cancer survivor. In 1982, I started my firefighter career at a volunteer fire department in Spartanburg County. In 1987, I started my full-time career as one of seven firefighters hired at the Westview Fair Forest Fire Department. At that time in my career, I never thought much about the dangers associated with the job, especially cancer. In 2001, I witnessed my first wife battle stage four ovarian cancer. As a caregiver, I battled it together with her for 18 months until her passing in 2003. In June of 2009, I was diagnosed with melanoma stage three cancer. While going through two surgeries and 12 months of chemotherapy, I started wondering how could I support my family and continue to do the best job in the world. With support from my family, my team of doctors, my fire department, and the grace of God, I proudly stand in front of you today to witness such a historical moment for South Carolina Fire Service. Today, October 14th, the South Carolina 
Fire Service embarks on history. By asking a simple question last, last September, a group of South Carolina Fire Service agents came together in November to discuss one of the deadliest killers in the fire service, that being firefighter occupational cancer. In this meeting, the group decided to put their individual agendas aside and form the South Carolina Firefighters Cancer Coalition. The newly formed Cancer Coalition consisted of members from the South Carolina State Firefighters Association, the South Carolina State Association of Fire Chiefs, the Carney Strong Initiative, the South Carolina Firefighters Cancer Support Network, the Professional Firefighters Association of South Carolina, and several other throughout South Carolina. During this discussion, the primary goal was to work towards a common goal to pursue working on cancer legislation for our, our, for our 17,000 plus firefighters in the state of South Carolina. By creating the South Carolina Firefighters Cancer Coalition, we all have reached a milestone in the signing of S-1071, now known as Act 168. Through the many hours and meetings, phone calls, emails, texts, personal conversations, and yes, in this glorious year of 2020, so many of us have a better understanding of what virtual meetings are. Even though we have had an extraordinary progress in signing of eight, Act 8, 168, we all know that we have more hurdles to cross. The South Carolina Firefighters Cancer Coalition must stay focused on the journey for securing funds, making every effort to make South Carolina current firefighters and future firefighters more aware of occupational cancer dangers by education, prevention, and training. In closing, thank you, Governor McMaster, for your continued support to the South Carolina Fire Service, members of the House and Senate for your help getting us where we are today, the South Carolina State Fire Academy and Chief Jones for allowing us to be here today, and the South Carolina Firefighters Cancer Coalition, and so many others for making October the 14th, 2020, such a historical day in South Carolina. Thank you. Now we'll sign it. <laughs> We got answers. I like it. It could be hotter out.